Have you been feeling a little depressed lately because you haven't been able to enjoy the things that you love doing due to chronic pain? Well, let me share a little story about one of our patients. This middle-aged female who has a desk job, she sits for long periods throughout the week, but she is a competitive athlete on the weekends. She does racing events and obstacle course racing as well. And she does go to the gym on a regular basis throughout the week. However, she came to me and she was not in a great mood. She, was, she admitted that she's been depressed lately and just has not been feeling herself. And I asked why. And she told me that she hasn't been able to get in the gym with her friends, be active on the weekends, and she hasn't even signed up for a race for several months because she doesn't know if she can compete. And I said, okay, I understand that. So what we need to do is we need to assess to see if there's any limitations other than just you being in low back pain. So we took her through our biomechanics analysis system and a couple other movement screens and we found out that she had actually a mobility limitation in her right ankle and in her left shoulder. Nothing to do with the low back. But if you think about it, those are on the opposite ends of the body. And if those aren't functioning correctly, everything in the middle gets overworked, compensated for, and that's typically where the pain shows up. So she didn't have a low back issue, but she actually had an ankle and a shoulder issue that we had to work on. So we got her in our performance program, and after a few visits, she was excelling pretty good. She was able to move better and function better. But one day she came back and she was all smiles, very enthusiastic and joking around. I said, whoa, what happened? She said, actually, I got back into the gym this week, and last night, with all my friends there, I set a squat peel. She set a personal record for a back squat. And she said that she was feeling great and that her coach was encouraging her to move forward because she was doing so well. And I said, wow, that's awesome. We haven't even been working on strength. So more of the story is, once we find those limitations, not the place of pain, but actually those true limitations in your body and we eliminate those, those might accelerate you to feeling better and getting back doing the things that you love. So if you're tired of avoiding activities that you like doing or just feeling depressed about it, come see me, let's talk. Let's get you through a movement assessment, see where those limitations are, and get you back doing the things that you love.